Midwest Access, thanks so much for sticking with us. We'll head back downtown in just a bit, but we had to check out Steeplechase on a snowy day like today. The ski hill is open this year. There hasn't been much snow. The snowmakers are actually still working hard here today. We'll touch on that in just a bit, but we're hanging outside the rental shop, and that is something that is new this year. They have ski rentals. We're going to head inside the ski shop and we have Justin Steck. He is here. He is the owner of Steeplechase. How are you? Hey guys, how are we doing? Good. It's doing good to see good. you again. Yeah, absolutely. Been a minute. Uh, we're happy to have you out. And the snow is falling today. How excited are you? Oh, we couldn't be happier to see some winter actually show up for a change. So uh, yeah, we're really excited with this storm that's coming. Yeah, this is great. The snowmakers are still working though. We'll touch on that in just a bit. There's a lot that goes into getting all these runs ready. Yeah, we're working seven days a week and have been for months, but now it's getting colder out. There's even more to do. So there's definitely a lot of stuff going on no matter what day it is, whether we're open or preparing to open. Yes. Yeah, so the rental shop is revamped. It's back. We have rentals this year. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, gave our rental shop a facelift, got all brand new Rossignol skis and snowboards. Okay. And then uh, this is where we fit people for them and then get them out on the mountain. Okay, perfect. And here's a look at the mountain. You have many runs. Are they all open right now? Or are we working on getting a few more open? We have 18 open out of 22 for today. Okay. Uh, if the snowstorm hits good and we work through the night, we should have 19 or 20 open. So we're at about 95% open for this weekend. So when I've been here in the past, I didn't realize you had so many runs. There's a lot. We added three new runs this year and then expanded the tubing park slightly. So uh, we have added to our footprint. Okay, Steeplechase, not far from Rochester, not far from Mazeppa, just a short drive from the Twin Cities. How does it compare to others nearby? We've been to Coffee Mill and we've also been to Welch Village. Those are close by. How does this compare? So we have a little bit more terrain than Coffee Mill, a little less than Welch. We've got a wider variety with three different valleys that run through. So there's a really good mixture on the trails of green runs, blue runs, and your black diamonds. Okay. So there's something for everyone. Awesome. And it's a little different terrain than what they have over at Welch or in Coffee Mill. So let's check out some of these rentals. This is a really nicely organized shop. I like it. How yeah. many do you have? We have 400 sets of skis. Uh, we have 50 snowboards, all boots, helmets, poles come with the uh, rental. So we have everything from ages pretty much two and up. So this is new. Why was it so important for you to get rentals here at Steeplechase? Steeplechase is a good hill for everyone, but it is an amazing beginner hill. Yeah. So if you don't have rentals, there's not a lot of options around Rochester. Right. So Without them, it really holds you back. So we definitely needed to have the rental shop this year. And so we got everything new. So that way it's you know top of the line equipment. It's safe, ready to go. Um, yeah. All right, so you're a young guy. Why did you want to revive Steeplechase? I really love the land that we have out here. So when I bought the property, the goal was just to see what would develop as time goes on. But I still enjoy the 170 acres that we have, chunk of the river. It's really exciting to have the ski hills back open because now we're using more of the property than we were with just weddings or even the snow tubing. Okay, so we're gonna do some skiing in just a bit. Should we grab my skis? Yeah. We have my skis somewhere over here. And a helmet, what color helmet do I grab? Black. The black helmet, okay, perfect. And as Justin mentioned, the helmets do come with the rentals. One more time, how much does the rental cost? $40 and that's your skis, boots, poles, and helmet. Okay, the whole shebang, and then the lift ticket is how much? 55. 55, okay, perfect. So all those details on our website, kttc.com. You can just click Midwest Access. We have our gear, we're going to do some grooming, and we're also going to do some skiing a little bit later on. We also have more coming up from downtown Rochester when we return. Keep it right here. You're watching Midwest Access, we'll be right back.